All right, so we're here at the shop today. It's raining outside, can't really work on the side end of the cabin. Today, I'm gonna make an acorn. I wanna make some acorn toppers for the tops of the stair posts. So, I made one last night just to play around. And what I did is I went outside in the woods and I found an acorn that I thought, this is what an acorn looks like to me. This is, this is my perfect acorn. Lots of nuts on the ground right now. It's fall. So I went and I found this acorn. And I made a replica of that acorn. And we're going to make a couple more of them for these post toppers. So, okay, so for this project, we're going to be using a wood lathe. Several of the different chisel knives for it. couple different calipers that are going to tell me distances and I might use those in conjunction with the tape measure as we do this project and for making the size difference to scale I'm using a construction master calculator you can do all the math by hand long hand if you know the formulas, if not, you look them up. I have a Construction Master calculator, so I'm going to use it. So the first thing I did is I took my calipers and I started taking measurements at key locations of this acorn. So I did it like right at the top here where it's kind of flat going down. I did it halfway down that curve. I took a height, which just happened to be the same as the width of the acorn top when I did it, or really, really close, we'll say. I took and I got the dimension of this little cap knob at the top, and I wrote those all down, and we'll go over all that and how I transferred those numbers to scale. Okay, so as I was measuring that acorn, I was taking measurements and I was recording them. So here's a diagram of what I took. 3 16 for this little nub. The top to the bottom of it was 3 8 The flat part will say was a half an inch, and then from where it started to taper to the bottom was 5 sixteenths. The width halfway in this 5 sixteenths area, I went halfway down, split it in half, and took a measurement of 5 eighths. The flat part was an inch, and the cap at the widest point was an inch and 3 sixteenths. So those are all numbers that we're going to need to know. The very top to bottom, from the top of the cap to the bottom, was also about an inch and three sixteenths. So the width and the height are symmetrical. Okay, so I took my widest point, which was the inch and three sixteenths, in the blank that I have, that I'm going to turn from, my widest point's going to be three and three quarters. And that's how wide I'm going to make the widest point of the acorn in the height. So if I take that widest point of my blank and divide it by an inch and three sixteenths, I come out with three. 0.157. We'll round that up to 3.16. So now we know that an inch and three sixteenths equals three and three quarter for my scale. Now, if I just multiply all the numbers that I took here. 
by 3.16, one inch times 3.16, comes out with three and three sixteenths, five eighths times 3.16, two inches. That's what I did with all those numbers. So now I have a scale of this is going to be three and three quarter tall, three and three quarter wide. The like flat part underneath the cap is going to be three and three sixteenths, two inches halfway in that five sixteenths area. That five sixteenths is now one inch. The half inch is now an inch and nine sixteenths, and so on and so forth. So now, this is for a three and three quarter inch acorn. Those are my dimensions. So we'll get started. I'll show you how I use these and my calipers to make these post tops. So at this point, I've already turned it down to three and three quarters inches. So now I'm gonna put a mark at the top and at the bottom. This will be the height of my acorn and another three and three quarters of an inch. So this is where we start giving it a little bit of shape. I'm gonna start removing some material at the top and the bottom of this. Now that I've got a little bit of definition, you can see I added the lines to the bottom of the top, the bottom of the flat spot, and then the center of the arc at the bottom. This will give me an idea of where I need to take my measurements and what material I need to take off to make it look the shape that I'd like it to look at the end. So I start at the bottom and slowly whittle my way down. Where you see me now is at the middle of the arch. That we took down to 15 sixteenths. Then I can slowly make my arc up to the bottom of the flat spot. While also taking away a little bit at the bottom where I'm gonna make a three quarter inch dowel. Then I move to the top, start taking away a little more material, because that's where the little stem at the top of the cap will be. We're gonna eventually take that down to 9 sixteenths. Give the cap a little bit of shape. and it's starting to look like something now. Fine tune a few areas here, and pretty soon it'll be time for sanding. And this is the area that we're gonna take down to three quarter inch. We're gonna make a dowel, that way when we drill into our post top at our spiral stairs. This will fit in there snugly. And then we'll glue it in place. All right, we'll take a little bit of sandpaper. I'll start with some 80 grit. Work my way down to 120 and then 220. Got it all smoothed out. And at this point, I'm just gonna say, I haven't touched a lathe in probably 10 or 12 years. And barely touched one before that. Last night was the first time I've touched it in quite a while and got it set back up. With that being said, any one of you guys could do a project like this. 
You just have to have the right tools. And this lathe is nothing special. It's probably about 35, 40 years old, but does its job. So here's the acorn we just made. I think it turned out great. What do you guys think? So here's the spiral staircase. We're gonna take these acorns that we turned and install them today. Um, I was able to put on about five or six coats of varnish on them this week. And we're gonna stick one up on top of this one and one upstairs. See how they look. Varnish. So the first thing we're gonna do is find the center. I got a centering tool that I use on the lathe for round objects. If I just rotate this around, it marks the center pretty close, and then I can eyeball it from there. From there, I'll drill down into the post to seat that dowel at the bottom of the acorn into. We'll add a little bit of glue. And make sure that the glue is on all the edges evenly. That noise you're hearing, you guessed it. It's the rain outside again. It's been putting a real damper on the cabin build and getting the siding done. But I'm sure sunnier days are coming. So we put a little bit of glue on the acorn bottom itself. And it's the time we've been waiting for. Fits nice and snug. Just like we knew what we were doing here. Take a second, clean up the glue at the bottom that oozed out, and we'll take a step back and we'll see what this thing looks like. Well, there it is. I think it gives a unique look to the stairs. And we'll add a little bit of character to the cabin. What do y'all think? So, I'll take you up the stairs, and we'll take a look at the top post. It turned out pretty good, too, I think. So, if you like this video, click like, subscribe, and tell your friends. You can also follow me on Facebook at Fallen Tree. And as always, thanks for joining the journey, and I hope you come back to watch more of the cabin build. Till next time.